Hey, good morning, good people. I hope you are feeling really well today. Um, it's coming to the end of the year, and at the end of the year, we love to reflect on how our year was and how things went. And in light of that, we also look at what do we want to do next year, right? How do we improve next year? And so a couple things I want you to keep in mind. Um, in regards to looking at how you handle what next year looks like for you. And that is when you look at setting goals, right? We make these resolutions or, or we set these vision boards saying that, you know, we want this, that, and the third thing in our life. We want to achieve this. And that's all well and fine. But what I challenge you to do is look at setting goals process oriented goals in lieu of always just only setting outcome goals now an outcome goal is i want to run a half marathon right i want to lose 15 pounds i want to um you know make you know fifty thousand dollars in my business or i want to be able to do something right that has a particular uh outcome right? And that's great. You know, it's good to achieve those things. But the, a lot of those goals can be down the line. And what you what I challenge you to do, because you need to also have this, are process oriented goals. Now process goals are the type of goals that are, you know, daily and weekly things that you do that you are always checking off. And they often do build up to the outcome goal. But the process oriented goals are far more profound in your life because outcome goals don't really make, they don't really say anything about you. They say some things about you, of course, but not much. But the process goals are what builds you as a human being. They build your character. They build you based on who you are because of the consistency required to do so. So while having a good goal to go run a half marathon is great, having the process oriented goal, I'm going to run five days this week, right? I'm going to run on Monday. I'm going to run on Tuesday. I'm going to run on Wednesday. I'm going to run on Friday. I'm going to run on Saturday. Having a process oriented goal like that helps build you into being a runner. Going to run a half marathon does, you know, depending on people's definition of what is a runner, right? Um, just being able to go out and run a half marathon may not necessarily define one's character as being a runner. But being someone who goes out and runs two or three miles a day, multiple days a week, does define you as a runner, or can at least, um, versus, and you might never run a half marathon. So, you, and you're gonna get more out of doing that daily goal. Saying like, all right, I wanna lose 20 pounds, but now focusing on the process oriented goal of I want to go and walk 20 minutes a day. I want to go ahead and go to the gym or do a workout at home five days a week. That builds you into who you are and that checks that process box. So you you become a part of and more in tune with the actual journey of doing that. And the second part of this that ties directly into that is instant gratification. Now, people always are out, you know, slaying the dragon of instant gratification. Like, no, no instant gratification. Everything should be delayed gratification. And delayed gratification is great. But instant gratification is useful and we like it for a reason. But you have to tinker things in a way that puts that instant gratification uh, in your favor. And so process-oriented goals do that. This morning, I had a process goal, and it was to spend my morning doing uh, researching, you know, stretching, being creative, uh, doing things along that nature, not doing any, like, hardcore work, right? Um, and it was to wake up at a certain time. So instead of saying, I want to create X amount of content by the end of the year or by, you know, by the end of the week, it was this day, I'm going to create content. This day, I'm going to read, not say, oh, I'm going to complete this book by the end of January, but I'm going to read this book every day. And so that actually gave me some instant gratification because I did it, right? I got up uh, when I was said I was going to get up. I stretched. 
I, you know, did my affirmations, I did my reading, I did my writing. So those are four little things that I value, right? I value being able to make sure my stretching, my body feels good. I value reading and learning things. I value me writing my thoughts out and creating. I value being able to make sure that I'm on the right tune with myself. And so doing those things that I value, well, I feel better right now. It's like 8 a.m. when I'm recording this, 8.30. And I feel better. I hit, And instantly, like, this wasn't a gr delayed gratification. I'm not in the moment of what I'm feeling, reaping what I sowed from activities I did weeks and months and years ago. I'm reaping what I sowed today. And so I challenge you when you're setting those goals to look at setting those process oriented goals that will give you instant gratification that moves you to your outcome goal. Peace.